Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video. In this video, I'm gonna be going through my everyday carry. So what I carry on me when I go to workshops or seminars and pretty much what's in this bag. Let's get to it. All right. First thing that's in this bag is this dog over here. I'm kidding. She's not, she's not in the bag. All right, let's talk about the bag first. So this is the Tool 25 liter crossover backpack. This is actually my second one. The first one that I had, um, I think I got a little bit dirty. I think I spilt like some mother or monster, that energy drink into the backpack. And I thought it'd be a good idea to, to put it in the washing machine. And so I did that and the backpack died. And as you can see, I love this backpack so much that I thought I'd buy another one. I stand by this, it's been pretty good. It's helped me throughout three years of university and it still helps me out now. So theoretically, I've had this same backpack, not the exact same one, but the same design backpack for I think, it's about, it's about seven years now. So it's pretty good, I've been enjoying it. First thing I wanna share with you is this drink bottle over here. This is the Apple Hydro Flask drink bottle. I got this from my time working at Apple. I really, really love it. Hydro Flask just does their bottles really, really well. Like this stays cold, like the water's in here, the liquid stays cold when I want it to be cold and it stays warm when I want it to be warm. So overall, just a really good drink bottle. The next thing is my laptop. My laptop of choice is the 2015, the early 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch, I believe. The specs on this one is 512 gigabytes, eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, it's just been something that, like, I got it when I first started uni. Um, and so I've just been using it since then. And it's like, it's been holding up seven years strong. So really all I'd like, all I mainly use this for is my program. So it's got my PowerPoints on it. Um, it's got a few documents here and there, nothing really important, um, but it's quite, it's just quite an easy going laptop. It's still got all the ports and I know they brought all the ports back, but it's like, this is just so nice when I go to a school um, and they just like, they just need me to plug into a HDMI and like just slot straight in and we're like, we're ready to go. Another piece of tech that I keep with me is the 11 inch 2020 iPad Pro with a Magic Keyboard and Apple Pencil. I really love this iPad. I mostly do my note taking um, on just the notes app using this iPad. I added my thumbnails on this over here. Like it's, it's quite straightforward. Plus I love like just going to a coffee shop, bringing this out and just using this instead of actually using my laptop. Cause I find my laptop's a little bit slow at times. So this is like, this is probably like the best thing, in my opinion, from one of the best investments. And now that I'm going back to uni, I have a feeling that I'm gonna be using this so much more. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. And if you go anywhere, the worst thing you could ever do is not bring a set of headphones. So whenever I'm taking public transport or I kind of want to zone everything out in like a coffee shop, I tend to use these. My headphones of choice are the Bose QC35s. I believe it's version one. Um, I got these as soon as they came out. I thought they were fantastic. Fantastic. The noise cancelling at the time, I believe it was like the best at that point in time as well. But I think the most important thing for me was the fact that the actual, um, like the headphones came with this, this aeroplane adapter. And I remember I bought it just before I went to South Africa for a trip. And the fact that I could use these two pins, plug it in to the aeroplane and just watch movies was just fantastic. And like, I believe on that same flight, I think I had like three babies that were crying, like literally around me. And when I chucked the noise cancelling on this one, it was just like, just bliss. I slept through like three babies crying. I was like, this is just so good. This is just the best thing ever. So yeah, these are the, my headphones of choice. I did at one point get the, um, get the Apple, um, get the Apple, what do you call it? Apple Studio, Apple, I can't, wow. I've literally just worked there and I forgot. I forgot what they were called. Anyway, the headphones that Apple make. Apple make, I think it's the Apple Studio. Anyway, the headphones that Apple make. I just felt like they were just too heavy and plus the noise cancellation between that and this one, yes, there was a bit of a difference, but I feel like was it worth the money that I spent um, in comparison to this? And then that, that too, when I did grab it and I did hold on, to it, hold on to it for about a week and a bit, I found that I just stopped using these and I was like, what's the point of having two headphones? Um, when I'm just not gonna end up using one of them. So I just returned them and just kept these. So this is going strong and I have a feeling they will continue going strong. Even the battery life on this is still still quite amazing. So still doing quite fine. I just checked by the way what the headphones were called. It was the AirPods Max. Um, that's what I was comparing it to. All right, one more thing that's in the main compartment is, believe it or not, a bag within the bag. Now in this bag, I basically keep um, like adapters. So this is when um, we occasionally have a situation where we need to connect a VGA cable to the laptop itself. So I've just got a VGA adapter, I've got HDMI cords, I've got an actual VGA cable in here. This is like, this is like just in case sort of stuff. I wish I didn't have to keep all this stuff within the backpack because it does add a little bit of weight to it. 
But it's like, you know what, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Plus most of the time I end up driving to the programs that I go to. So more often than not, I'm just carrying my backpack when I'm like moving around the school anyway. So it's not too much of a big deal. All right, so now we are going to be entering the safe zone of the backpack. I don't really keep anything that really needs to be kept safe in that area. But for the most part, it's like, it's all right, it's not bad. So the first thing I have in here is, um, is this, this is a, just a random moisturizer. I think like whatever I can find around the house, I kind of just chuck it in there when I finish one of these. This is Cortez 1996, I don't know. It's just hand cream because these days I'm hand sanitizing my hands so much. And I just feel like I was getting to a point where like I almost felt like this skin from the top of my hands were like peeling off. And I was like, crap, I definitely need some like hand cream, some moisturizer. And so this is what I've been, this is what I've been using, just carrying with me in the backpack wherever I go. Another thing, just in case, whenever I need it, a bit of Panadol if I get a headache or I'm just feeling sick and not feeling well, just, you know, just pop a couple of pills and you're fine. Actually, it's not even Panadol. This is, my bad, this is Telfast. Sorry, I thought it was Panadol, but like it, it is Telfast. So I used to get, like in the spring and summertime, I used to get really bad hay fever. And I've like, the worst thing were for me was if I ever left the house and I'd already got to my work destination and I forgot to take hay fever tablets that morning, I, it, would, it would almost be like my hay fever would be worse simply for the reason that I forgot to take it in the morning. And so I just make sure I keep like a, is this a slither and like a, a slither of, of Telfast tablets with me, um, just in the backpack, wherever I go. Another thing that I occasionally bring with me is this over here. This is Issey Miyake. Um, this is not the original one. I used to have an original one of these that I used to keep. I just really like how this is so nice and small, nice and compact, can refill it with pretty much anything. But I got this for like my 21st birthday um, from a good friend of mine. And I just felt like it was just perfect for like traveling, small enough to fit in my backpack, not too heavy. Like the original one that I did have, I think it, it broke. Like I think I dropped my backpack and then I think one of the zips was open. So it kind of just popped out and crashed on the, on, on the concrete. And that was a very devastating experience for me. Um, but anyway, it's all good. I have a couple of these, so I just chuck it in my backpack and keep it in there when I need to get rid of that smelly smell. Another thing that we have on top in the safe zone over here is just a couple of pens. My choice of pens are from Muji. These are by far my favorite pens. Um, I use the 0.7 ones because I just feel like it just looks really nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And obviously to couple this, we have a notebook. So just a mini notebook that I write down ideas, my thoughts. Sometimes when I get a little bit anxious, I find that when I write down my thoughts, kind of just gets everything out, all the emotions onto paper. So I feel a lot better. So this is just what I use for that. Or it's just like, if I'm coming up with like random ideas that I don't like, I don't want to maybe type on my phone or I feel like I need to draw a diagram really quickly. then this is the first thing that, um, that I bring out of the backpack that I use. Oh, by the way, this is also from Muji. Like, Muji is just amazing. I just realized I keep a lot of my backpack. Um, but anyway, let's just keep going. All right, so the next thing that I carry with me is this over here. This has just got a hard drive. It's just got like past presentations that I, um, that just in case that I need to like bring out and I need to use um, when I go to a school, then I just got, I just make sure that I got everything on me because sometimes I think I was in a situation where I went to a school and I didn't have the right program. And then as a result, I, and it wasn't on my laptop for whatever reason. And just so I can avoid those situations in the future, this is the backup that I keep with me so that, um, so yeah, so that I don't get in any sticky situations again. All right, and also you cannot be a presenter that uses PowerPoints without having a presentation remote. I've actually got two on me. So I've got, I use this one. This is the Logitech, I can't believe, I think it's the K380, um, if I'm not, sorry, the R700, it's Logitech R700. It was fantastic. This is my first presenter remote that I ever used. It still works like a charm, still got the, like, still got the laser pointer and everything, um, like perfect for blanket the screens, flipping through the sides. But on top of that, like to do one better, um, we've got the, Logitech Spotlight. This thing is ridiculous. It is amazing. Like it's wireless Bluetooth and it's got like this spotlight effect where it will like dim the rest of the screen, but it'll keep like a round circle where it'll like spotlight a piece of content, whichever piece of content that you wanted to. So I found this is like, this is really amazing. This is a gift from my from my boss at Success Integrated. Um, I think in my second year presenting, it was fantastic. Like it's just, this is just amazing. So good. Plus like, look at it, look at this. Look how beautiful this thing is. Like it's unreal. 
um, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, one other thing that I keep with me is my glasses. So I use, um, I think these are Ray-Bans. I think I got this, got, got this quite a while back. It does have, um, it does have like a slight degree on it because I find like when I got my eyes, when I first got my eyes tested, well, anyway, when I got my eyes tested for these glasses, I was, um, I think it was during exam time. So like, I feel like my eyes get, um, they just get worse when I get highly stressed. I don't know if that's like, I don't know if you guys can relate to that at all, but whenever I had exam, exam periods, I just found that my eyes just went really, really weird. And so I got these with a slight degree change on it and I feel like they've helped me during stressful periods and also when I need to look um, at a screen for a long period of time. I just find the blue light filter on these uh, reduce the fatigue that I experience. And now that I'm going back to studying as well, I mainly use these at night when I'm looking at the screen just to kind of like get rid of that glare and just like, it just helps me feel less tired and it just means I can look at a screen for a lot longer, which isn't ideal to be honest. I um, wish I didn't have to, you know, study as much or pay so close to attention to a screen. But unfortunately, with the with the world that we live in today, this is something that I have to do. So, so yeah. All right, on to the next thing, we've got my wallet. This is um, I got this a couple of years ago. I just like Tommy Hilfiger, I think had like 20% off. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this wallet. My my current wallet at the time was like really really thick, and I was like, I just cannot carry this in my pocket. Um, it was too heavy. I had too many cards in it. So I decided to downsize a little. A little bit and so I just keep this wallet with me so it's got my Medicaid card it's got my driver's license and all that like a bank card but like really more often than not I don't usually need to carry this around with me because I just use Apple Pay on my phone or on my watch and my phone of choice is the iPhone 13 Pro Max 256 gigabyte um, clearly, I would not have bought this phone if I didn't work at Apple, but because I did, you know, I thought it was, I thought I might as well just go all in, and I completely went for it. I use this. This has just been this has just been amazing, to be honest. Like I use this for some of the B rolls. You might even not. You might like, to be honest, like when I watch my videos back, sometimes I don't even know that I've used this for my B rolls um, because the camera on this is just fantastic. It takes beautiful photos. The battery life, I don't need to carry like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I didn't need to show you, like I, I don't need to carry a charging cable for my phone with me because the battery life on this is amazing. It's, I get about a day and a half, almost two days with it, um, with the 13 Pro Max. So yeah, it's just been, just been really fantastic. Oh, and although restrictions are easing in Melbourne, um, I still make sure that I keep a mask on with me um, at all times. This is the, this is the Apple mask. I'm like, let's do a quick unboxing of this. Um, but at my time at Apple, like Apple's got specific masks that they um, that they have for their employees. It's obviously like we don't have to wear it, um, when, we, when we were work, like we didn't have to use these particular masks when we were working. But Apple actually designed these. Like these were designed by Apple engineers, so it's pretty fantastic. Like I just really love it how like like it's just so breathable, um, and I just found like they also look pretty sick. Like check this out. Like, I mean, look at it. I mean, like the masks are like super unique. Um, and yeah, like this is just classic Apple mask. So I keep one of these on me or I keep it in my bag just in case I'm going to like high density environments. And like, I just have a feeling that, you know, um, there's a possibility that. So I'll just, I'll just end up using the mask. My earphones of choice are the Apple AirPods Pro. These are like, these are fantastic. I just use them. Um, I use them when I'm like, when I'm out and about, when I'm in the city, if I don't want to take out like the, the QC35s, I just take these out instead. They pretty much do it just fine, to be honest. I use, also use these at the gym as well. Like, I don't know why gyms do this, but they, they blast like their own radio station really loudly. And it just frustrates me. Sometimes I'd rather not listen to music at all. So I kind of just use this to drown out that noise or I listen to like sad Bollywood music um, while I'm lifting a bit of weights because why not? A couple of other things that I keep on me as part of my everyday carry is the Apple Watch. This is the Apple Watch Series 7 stainless steel silver. Um, I just like, I remember when I, um, when I was tossing up between what watch to get, I tried this one on and I like, I literally, I ordered the, I ordered the um, aluminum version of this watch. I think it was just a, at the time, I think it was just the midnight aluminum with like the black, the Navy, the Navy sports band. I ordered the midnight aluminum with the Navy sport band. Um, and I remember I like, while I was waiting that to get shipped out, I tried this on at the Apple store and I should not have done that. Um, cause this is obviously a lot more expensive than a normal aluminum one, but I tried this on. I loved how it looked. I loved how it felt. And I was like, you know what? You might as well just yellow it. 
and it's been great. Like I use this to track my walks, track a couple of workouts. I don't usually use it in the gym too much because um, I'm a little bit scared of like cracking the glass and all that. Um, but it's just been, it's like, it's like really cool. Like it's awesome when I need to time things in workshops, if there's like some time sensitive activities, like, I don't know, it's just fantastic. Oh, and also at the time as well, this was like awesome when we all needed masks and like we had to wear a mask wherever we went because you could actually unlock, like I could unlock my iPhone um, with like when I had my watch on me. So it was just made, it kind of just made like that whole process was just so easy. So, so yeah, this is the this is the watch that I use, and I also carry these with me as well. These are these are just a bunch of bracelets that I use. I think I've got I've got like heaps more as well. Maybe I'll make a video about it one day about the story behind all of them, um, and where I got them from and how I got them. So, so yeah, that is my everyday carry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of me, make sure you check out this video over here. But other than that, make sure you like the video and you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.